Yo, what is going on NFL fans? Welcome back to the channel. In today's episode, we're going to do our predictions for week one in the 2024-2025 NFL season. Kicking it off, we have the Ravens at the Kansas City Chiefs. I think the Ravens are going to be really tough to beat this year. They drafted extremely well, and they brought in Derrick Henry to add to that offense with Zay Flowers and Lamar Jackson. They are going to be really tough to beat. I think they're going to win 12, 13, maybe even 14 games this year. And in week one, I think they beat the Chiefs. I really do. The Chiefs got hot at the right time, but if you remember most of last year, they struggled mightily on offense with the wide receivers and the drops. They got Xavier Worthy in the draft, but I don't think he's going to catch more than three, four, maybe five balls a game. Travis Kelsey is getting one year older, and he's getting banged up each and every year. He'll be fresh in this game, but I think they need help on the offensive line. The Chiefs still have a top caliber defense. That's why I think the Ravens are going to squeak out of victory narrowly. 21-17 Ravens. Then we move on to the Green Bay Packers. First, the Philadelphia Eagles. There's no real home team in this game because they're playing in Brazil, right? Man, the Packers are a very, very talented team. And I don't know what Eagles team is going to show up this year. They were 10-1 last year, and then they had one of the biggest collapses in NFL history. That defense is terrible. They didn't really improve on the linebacker position, especially with Vic Fangio, the new defensive coordinator's 3-4 scheme. They did add two good D-backs in Quinion Mitchell and Cooper DeJean, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. I think the Green Bay Packers win a close game 23-20. to Next up, we have the Steelers versus the Falcons. Two first-time quarterbacks for their teams. It looks like Russell Wilson's going to be starting for the Steelers, and then Kirk Cousins for the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta... Playing at home, I just really like them to win this game. I think the Steelers' offense is going to struggle, especially in the beginning of the year. They ran the ball pretty well last year, but that passing game was really suspect. And I don't think Russell Wilson really improves their offense that much. I think the Falcons win this game 24-13. to Then we move on to the Cardinals at the Bills. The Cardinals are traveling to Buffalo. Luckily for the Cardinals, it's not going to be that cold. It'll be nice in Buffalo in the beginning of the year. It's a great time to go to Buffalo, actually. But can the Bills rebound from last year with all those injuries? The Cardinals got Marvin Harrison Jr., but I just think it's a tough ass to go into Buffalo, one of the most hostile environments in the NFL, and beat the Buffalo Bills. I think the Bills take this game 28 20. Next up, we have the Bears at home versus the Titans. I think the Titans are going to have trouble blocking for Will Levis again this year. No more Derrick Henry. The Bears' offense has been seriously upgraded. Caleb Williams, DeAndre Swift, Keenan Allen. This team is going to be a lot better this year. I think the Bears win their home opener pretty easily. I'm going to say 28-13. And then we go to the Patriots at the Bengals. The Bengals get a healthy Joe Burrow back, which is great. I think they drafted really well, too. They have one of my favorite drafts in this entire draft class. And then the Patriots, it looks like Jacoby Brissett is probably going to star for them. I think Drake May is going to start the year on the bench. I think the Bengals take this game pretty easily, I'm going to say. But the Patriots defense is pretty good, so I'm going to say 23-10 Bengals victory. Then we move on to the Texans versus the Colts. I like the Texans on the road to get a victory here. C.J. Stroud was unbelievable last year, but the Colts do get Anthony Richardson back. This is going to be a really good game. I think it's going to be really close. I'm going to say 27-24 Texans. Then we move on to the Jaguars on the road versus the Dolphins. This is going to be another really good, close game. The Dolphins lost a lot of players both on offense and on defense in free agency. They lost Vic Fangio, their defensive coordinator, too. So there's going to be a lot more moving parts. That's why I like the Jaguars to squeak out of victory here 2017. And then the Panthers at the Saints. Playing in New Orleans is always really tough. The Panthers added a lot of weapons on offense. Xavier Leggett, Brooks from Texas, Sanders as well, the tight end. I really like what the Panthers did in the draft, but they're just not ready to compete at 
the NFL level yet, man. They're still going to be a 5-6 win team. I think the Saints win this game. It's probably going to be a little closer than people think. I'm going to say 24-17 Saints over the Panthers. Then we have the Giants at home against the Vikings. Hopefully we get to see J.J. McCarthy start in this offense. They have a ton of weapons. T.J. Hawkinson, Addison, got Justin Jefferson. J.J. McCarthy's got a great situation to go into. And I also want to see Daniel Jones and Malik Neighbors and see how they kind of progress as the season goes along. But I think the Vikings are the better team. I think they're going to score a lot of points against this Giants defense who has really, really bad cornerbacks. So I think the Vikings are going to win this game 28-14. Then we move on to the Raiders at the Chargers, a division game, an amazing game. This should be a lot of fun. I just think the Raiders' defense is going to be too much for the Chargers' offense, who has they have no weapons at all whatsoever. I like the Raiders to win this game, close game, 17-17. 13 for the Raiders. Then the Broncos travel to Seattle to play the Seahawks. Always tough to play in Seattle. The Broncos got a new quarterback. They got rid of Russell Wilson. They drafted Bo Nix. I think he's going to be the starter day one. The Seahawks are just a better team right now with Geno Smith and DK Metcalf and that offense. I like the Seahawks to win this game at home 23-13. Then we have the Cowboys at the Browns. I think the Cowboys are really going to struggle this year. That offensive line is not very good at all. And they got Tyler Guyton in the draft, but I don't think he's ready to be a plug-and-play starter for the Cowboys. I think they're going to struggle to score points, especially against that crazy Browns defense. So I'm going with the Browns, 20-10 to 10 over the Cowboys. Then we have the Commanders at the Buccaneers. Jaden Daniels, his first game with the Commanders should be a lot of fun to watch. They got a new offense, new head coach Dan Quinn, new offensive coordinator Cliff Kingsbury for the Commanders. I just like the Buccaneers. They were a playoff team last year. They got that big playoff win over the Birds last year. They're tough to play at home. It's going to be hot and muggy and gross there. I don't know if the Commanders are going to be ready for that type of game. I like the Buccaneers to win a pretty close game, 23-20. Then one of my favorite games of the week, the Rams versus the Lions. This game is going to be a lot of fun. I think they're going to score a lot of points. High flying scoring game. I'm saying 31 28. The Lions win this game. The Lions have the best offensive line in football. They got Jared Goff on an extension, four year extension. Amon Ross, St. Brown, Sam Laporta, Jameer Gibbs. Man, the Lions are stacked, but so are the Rams on offense. Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, Matt Stafford. I think a lot of points are going to be scored in this game. And the Lions secondary is not very good, so I think they're going to give up some points. They drafted some secondary guys in the draft. We'll see how they translate to the NFL. And then the Monday night game, we got the New York Jets versus the San Francisco 49ers. The Jets are in primetime so much this year, very undeservingly because they haven't done shit. But I think the 49ers win this game. They're just a better team. The Jets have a really good defense. I think it's going to be a close game, 23-20 for the 49ers, guys. And that wraps it up for week one. There are my predictions. Let me know in the comments below. Do you agree with my picks? Am I an absolute dipshit? Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't yet, please do me a huge favor. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.